plaintiff, Marsha Gray, dated the defendant. And while living together, their house burned down and the defendant saved her life. However, they eventually broke up and Marsh is suing her today for half the cost of an eviction. Defendant Isis Hayes says her relationship with Marsha was toxic and Isis rapidly lost weight while they were living together because they fought so much. Isis denies owing Marsha for anything. Start with you. All right, I met the defendant in December of 2013. Fell, fell madly in love with her. But How honest, soon? Huh? How long did that take? Um, it took a couple of months. Okay. We actually made Badly in love in two months? Uh, well, maybe like three or four. We right. made things official. <laughs> Big difference. No, <laughs> we made things kidding. official uh, April um, 22nd, 2014. Um, everything went great. She ended up moving up to Kansas City to be with me. Um, we were long distance for about eight months. Um, when she moved up to Kansas City, we got a house. Um, unfortunately, we ended up having a house fire. Um, we lost our pets. We almost lost our lives mm, that night. Whoa. And I will give her credit by saying that she did save my life that night. So I'm thankful for that. What started the fire? Um, a candle. A, left, mm. a candle left unattended. Oh. Um, Overnight? Yeah. Yeah, we actually woke up to inhaling smoke. Um, so I think did, I've done that once and life. almost did it another time. Yeah. It, it was very tragic, sir. I was actually, mm. I went to a depression after that. Um, which caused yeah. problems in our relationship. Um, mm. uh, after that, we ended up moving in with my mother. We stayed with her um, and got us an apartment in March of 2016. Okay. Um, when we got into the apartment, um, everything was great, relationship going good, until later on that, that same year, she ended up moving out Why? with a coworker. Um, we just had a lot of turbulence in okay. our relationship. We needed some space, so she moved in with the coworker. You never moved back in together? Yes, yeah, she moved. She actually ended up moving back after living with our co with the coworker for about three or four months. Mm -hmm. um, so she moved back. We renewed the lease in April of 2017, and um, once again, our relationship just started getting very turbulent. I was I was in a depression, and that apparently was a big problem in our relationship, and um, which led to her leaving in August. Let me hear from you, ma'am. Then um, we'll get to the details. Well, the eviction, yes. I met Marsha Gray on Instagram, and like she said, we fell in love, and everything was fine, everything was great. The relationship was fine for a while. Like, in the beginning, everything was like ice cream and cake. It was, it was amazing. And then after our house fires, like she said, she went into a really bad depression. And this depression was like, she didn't want to do anything. She didn't want to go out. She didn't want to make friends. She didn't want to do anything. So I decided that I was going to make a friend and I went out about twice a week. And even that was just like too much. She would say female like, friend? yeah, my female friend, she was married. So we would just hang out at her house, play cards and have a good time. But that was just so I could get out the house, you know, because I wasn't depressed. Like I saved our lives. I was, I was happy to be living. I was happy to have life. And she wasn't, like, to me, she wasn't. And after that, like, her depression lasted for a really long time. It took her two years to even say what she was so depressed about. And after a while, like, living in a situation where you're fighting and you're arguing, and I just wanted to get out of there. I, want, I, needed, I needed to get out of there, like, No one thought I about going to get weight. counseling or um, I brought looking into her depression? What's that, ma'am? I actually brought up that we should go to counseling. She said that, well, therapy. And she said that she had had therapy before when she was younger and therapy doesn't work. So she didn't want to do it. Yeah. But so, like, what about you going for your depression? Seemed to be establishing that that was the primary problem in the relationship. Yes. Yeah. Why didn't you go for that? I'm, I don't know, Your Honor. I'm okay. not sure. I, I ended up have. losing about 35 pounds being with her. When I met her, I was about... You are more slim than you are, right? Yeah, like I was, I was smaller than I am now because I lived with my mom for a little bit. So, she, of course, like she helped me out and, you know, she took care of me. But as I was dating her, my weight kept dropping and I eventually got to 100 pounds. And I said, if I stay here, if I lose any more weight, I'm going to be sick. And... She didn't care. She felt like that was my fault. She felt like that was my problem. But in reality, I stayed with her for a very long time and tried to help her come out of that. And she just wanted to dwell in that. So I gave her a month's notice 
to move. I told her I'm going to move in a month. Okay, we're going to get to that with the yeah. eviction. Tell me why you're suing her for an eviction. Um, I'm suing her because we both signed the lease together. Um, that's the one in April. Yes. Of 17. Yes. Uh, we both. Well, that's when we renewed the lease. We mm -hmm. both renewed the lease. Um, and I just feel like, I mean, we both did abandon the apartment as well. Like when she left um, and went back to North Carolina, I left the apartment about a week later. And the landlord I, I didn't could... let you all out of it, obviously. No, no. All right. The landlord obviously has sued or submitted a bill yes, to you guys. They, did. they submitted the, I guess, with the courts, they did the eviction How much process. Did... Mm hmm. And uh, how the, much did they conclude the amount, the amount was, was that you three, all owed after three thousand dollars in well, three thousand thirty nine dollars and eighty nine. All right. And you're suing for half of it. It sounds like yes, fifteen twenty. Mm -hmm. All right, ma'am. What do you have against paying your half of the eviction cost? Well, I personally didn't know I had it. I didn't even know I had an eviction on my name. I found out I had an eviction after I tried to move out my mother's house. And when I asked Marsha Gray, like, why didn't you tell me about the eviction? She stated that she didn't want to upset me. You should have known that you weren't, if you weren't paying, you were at least being delinquent yourself. The result of you not paying would cause an eviction. Why wouldn't you think that? Why wouldn't you assume that? I personally felt like she, I thought she was going to stay in the apartment. She worked for the NFL. She can afford the apartment. She didn't have to leave the mm -hmm. apartment. Like I didn't have so to. So why didn't you discuss that with her and get that understanding? It just was something like the, Everything was all bad. There was no mm -hmm. more talking. There was no more, like, we could not have a conversation anymore. Like, Why couldn't you write it or text it? I just didn't. Okay, Robin. and that's why you're going to be liable. She received a bill. You all were both liable, and therefore you owe uh, half of all the eviction costs that was incurred. Judgment for the plaintiff, $1,520. Good luck, ladies. Thank you. She could have picked up the phone and called me. I called her multiple times. It's just, it's no I excuse. You pay when you have no money. I have a job. Do you have a job? I don't make that much. Right, why are you worried about how much I make? How much do you make? More than you. Okay. 